Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. I'm Gazbeard, this is Green Hell. We're at the Camp Exelon, Epsilon, the uh, large um, native village which was marked on the map and uh, looks like it's coming towards the end of the story mode. This is exactly where we left off in the last episode. We're about to go in and find out what happens. Um, there's more of those things that we saw in our tent, look. The, the carved coconuts and the whatever blades those are. They look like uh, fish spinners some sort, don't they? Um, I don't know if they're wind chimes or spice holders. Lots of wood lying around. I've noticed there's wood everywhere in here, which is good because we're going to have to put up a save point. We've got a hammock there. There's another hammock there. Doesn't seem to be anything we can use as a, a save point as we're go I'm wandering around. Large bamboo there. Should be good for a water filter. Log, log. Yeah, I think we're going to have to... Wow, loads of logs. Is that another cook pot? Not one that we can use. Um, unknown fruit, unknown bowl, bananas. Well, there's food lying around for us. Um, I wonder if we could build inside here. I'm not sure if we could. Let's just test. Notebook. Frames. Oh, we can. Can we build inside these? No. Okay, but that's no problem. If we can build out here, we can back make a save point. So let's just have a think where we're going to put it. Um, can we put it. On, we can put it. On, no, we can't put it under those. Oh, we'll put it here. It's near enough to the entrance. We don't have that much work to do because there's logs lying everywhere. And we're over encumbered the minute we pick one up, which is not good. Maybe what we'll do, we'll drop our um, coconut bowls and stuff here. We're collecting water. Should it rain? Don't know how long we'll be here, but we might as well put them down on the ground. The log across there, we'll just grab that. Another two here. Right, we need some sticks. I think I saw a long stick. Yeah, there's a long stick. No cooking pot there, look. I see long sticks over here. Oh, I did. Logs. Tons of food lying around. Tons of logs. Oh, we want. Take two of them. We can smack them then with a hatchet and turn them into long sticks. There's a long stick leaning against that rock. Look, <laughs> terrific. No. Uh, right. So we just broke the hatchet. We need to make another hatchet somehow. He's finding a stone. It's not one thing, it's another. Actually, have we got a, a long stick just lying around? One that we can... A bloody mouse. Knock them logs clean over. Mighty mouse. Danger mouse. Coconuts here, that's good. At least we got something to drink. I don't see any more long sticks just lying around here. We need to find a stone so that we can make an axe. Oh, there we are. Long sticks. Um, 
ficus, ficus leaf. That's new. Never seen a ficus leaf in this game before. Alright, we need to go and get some ropes from somewhere. Uh, there's a big tree over there that, that'll have ropes. Need to keep our eyes open for kitty cats and similar. And it looks like we've got leeches. I hear piggies. Peccaries. Banisteriopsis. Um, not Banisteriopsis we want. It's the regular Liana. There we go. One. We need four of them. Seriously? Just one? Oh, there's another Liana. Can't get our hat. Oh, we're going to need a Banisteriopsis, so if we take that one, then we can get that Liana. Um. Yeah, there we go. We got leeches yet. Just get rid of those leeches. So we've got the ropes we need now. Um, four ropes, yeah. We need a stone to make another axe. Up against the cliffs there should be a stone. There's a short fat stick for the handle of the axe. Oh come on, there's got to be a stone somewhere. Piggy, we got our protein. And a cane toad, just for good measure. <laughs> We're seriously overloaded. I'll probably have to cut this walk back out of the video. Um, simply because it's going to take us so long. Hopefully I'll find a stone on the way back as well. Hopefully, we will in fact get back before I run out of stamina and collapse on the ground. I'm still looking for a stone. I can't see a stone.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Right, you, what you've just been witnessing is a time lapse um, representation of everything that I was doing to get ready to be up to this point. And what we're now going to do is we're going to light the fire under this uh, ayahuasca and we're then going to do what is very possibly the last ayahuasca infused so let's say that again the last ayahuasca infused trip of the story i hope maybe we'll find out You're gonna miss them again. Mia, where are you? You'll stay here with me again. Is that what you want? Not again! Just tell me what happened! You cured me. You gave me back hope. I could taste and smell again. I could eat without throwing up. Those were the best six months of my life. And you were by my side the whole time. But Jake, I feel it coming back. I'm afraid of it. I lived felt dead. I can't go through all that again. I can feel the same grip on my throat. I, I can't swallow or breathe. Seconds stretch into hours and, and, and I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting to die. Every patient of a Molecorp became a walking time bomb. Everyone was infected. Everyone. Even you. You left me here. You left me alone. To die. You wanted to save me again, but what will the price be this time, Jake? What will you sacrifice this time? What the... What happened here? Everything we do makes the tribe suffer. Oh my god, is that because of my book? 
It's easier not to remember, isn't it? Do you even remember how you got here? Of course I do. By boat. With you. We put up a tent and... Are you sure? I... I don't understand. How long have you been here? I... Mia... You know I can't remember. Just tell me. Weeks passed. You were certain you would find the cure. Everyone lost hope. Time went by. You were all alone. How long can you survive on your own? How long can you live with the deaths of millions on your conscience? But we found the cure, Mia. Let us talk to you, let us tell you about it. Maybe it'd be easier to just push it all away. Forget. Start again. read all of those. I don't see any difference in the detail. See, there's the note that made me sure it was the dart frog. There's the lost tribe. There's the Waraha. Why didn't he talk to her? I assume it's going to be the door at the end of the corridor. Yeah. You didn't listen, did you? I... I don't understand. Why are you here? I told you already. I begged you to end it, but you didn't listen. You never do. Was it worth it? Did you get what you wanted? Yes, we've got the cure. Yes, I have the cure. 
And now I know where to find you. Then go. What are you waiting for? Soon that means we've got a we've got no other way to get out of here but to actually go. Okay. Right, so we're at the native village, I presume. That's anything in the notebook? Find better climbing equipment, get back to the airstrip. Well, we found the better climbing equipment. But get back to the airstrip is the only instruction that we've got. How's our stats? We're fully statted. Uh, what time of day is it? Midday. Um, how's our backpack? 42 kilos. We've got one piece of meat on us, two nuts. Let's get some more of these rations that we pre-prepared. Uh, the peccary meat is going to be what we want because it will give us fats as well as um, proteins. Right. Do it like that. That's the last piece of the old, and that's 49.2. It doesn't give us much else that we can do. That's water clean, that's empty. Keep it with us, though. Um, yeah, we'll keep that with us. Drink that. Put that in there. No sticks to drop. Nothing there to drop. We still need to make an axe. Nothing there to drop. Just get back to the airstrip at all speed, I guess, is our instruction here. Right. Um, oh, might as well eat that iguana. Get the energy off it. Let's get going. Music. Why music? Um, when we came in, was it that way? I, I think we were on the other side of this big rock. Dead birds everywhere. I just saw a Brazil nut. That might put us overweight. Probably more there, but we don't want to be looking for them. Regular nuts. That's just put us overweight. Um, right, let's eat that then. Put us back underweight. I think this is the route we came in. I see you. Oh, hello. What's happened here? Cutscene? Tower, come in. This is Jake Higgins. I got it. I got what everybody's been looking for. Did I... Did I hear you correctly? Say again, over. Yes. Yes, you heard me right. I have the cure. Uh, a, a cure? God, are you certain? I'll send somebody right away. You know how hard it is to give permission these days? Christ. Is this really over? Just hurry. I wanted to say goodbye to you. You think I'm still waiting for you? Oh, nasty.
Yes. You're a fighter. You know, you could always come back to me. I really hope that this won't be necessary. Hey, Mia. Thank you. Goodbye, mi amor. Wow. <laughs> and it finished just like that. Wow, that was a very rapid lead out. Um, left me a little bit breathless about <laughs> how quickly that all died off. Well, that was, um, it was some journey. Um, I dare say it's one of those ones that you could play through very very quickly in just two or three hours if you wanted to once you knew where everything was um, you could make it really last you could build bases at every location um, there's lots of places where you'd want to do more exploration and more investigation where there is no save point so you'd have to build shelters and if you're going to build shelters you might as well build you know campfires and smokers and dryers and all the rest of it um, water collectors and so on so you, you could literally turn it into a chain of bases and the one thing that's impressed me about that um, at the same time as disappointed me a little is that we did not have to do any backtracking um, if you remember I left two or three bases set up and I actually said in case we have to come back this way I don't know if we will or not um, so those bases are still there with the materials I left behind with the equipment I left behind and so on and we're not going to get to use them but I guess in a way we were probably lucky that we found the cure straight off so we only had to play through once if um, I'd imagine if you didn't find the cure um, or if you said that you hadn't found the cure it would maybe kick you back to the beginning it would make you do it all again interesting well that's that has been story mode version 1.1.1 1. it says at the bottom right of screen started at version 1.0 and there's been a couple of updates during the time that i've been playing and recording this for you i hope you have enjoyed it i'm gasbeard um, i need to find something else to do to replace the regular slots for green hell story mode and i'll update you on that next week thanks for being with me on this journey um, if you have liked it remember to give the videos a like and please do subscribe to the channel I'm trying to grow it leave your comments down below and I look forward to seeing you maybe on Twitch to watch me live stream the survival mode of Green Hell as opposed to the story mode yeah I'm still a, a little bit taken aback by how quickly that all ended and we still don't know if Mia is actually alive or dead or whether it was her dying and her ghost that kept us going to find the cure yeah interesting left a bit of a paradox in the story there well done to the devs that's gonna be it from me as always it's not goodbye it's just bye for now